Hi everyone, this right here is the IBOSAD HT-1950 Hydraulic Copper Press Tool. Is it any good? Let's check it out. Opening the box, the first thing I notice is just how different this is from the defective press tool I had back in 2022. Alongside the instruction manual, there are also some spare parts included, which might come in handy. There's also an included deburring tool and copper tubing cutter. These included tools are not the best quality, but they're definitely more than adequate for light use. And now here's the main event, the press tool itself. This press tool is mostly aluminum and feels high quality despite its light weight. And now here's the biggest difference between this tool and the one I had problems with. This tool has individual jaws. The reason I had leaks with the previous press tool was because the jaw inserts for the universal head were metric and they were shipped by mistake to me in the US where we use inch pipe. These jaws, however, are clearly labeled as being for North American V profile press fittings. I also like how compact these jaws are so you can easily press pipe fittings that are in tighter spots. The jaws are only about an inch thick so they can press T fittings with ease, which is something the previous tool could not do. Plus they're overall compact and look just like the ones found on professional press tools. Installing jaws is also really easy. All you have to do is flip this lever open then pull that pin out. It's retained so it won't fall out. That prevents you from losing the pin. Then you can just slip the jaw in and then press that pin down and give it a twist to restrain it. With the one inch jaw installed, this press tool weighs about 7.2 pounds, which is still pretty lightweight. Now it's time for the fun part. Let's go press some pro press fittings and do some plumbing with this tool. I have already cleaned and prepared this piece of copper pipe, so now let's press on a fitting. Before installing any press fitting, double check to make sure the o-ring is still intact, then push it onto the pipe until it stops. Next, use a permanent marker to mark the edge of the fitting. This will alert you in case the fitting slips out when pressing. Now we're ready to press. To start, I installed the half inch pro press jaws onto the tool, then double checked that the oil valve is closed. These jaws are spring loaded, so all you have to do is squeeze the handles to open them, then release and they automatically clamp down on the pipe. Press fittings have a ridge that lines up with the groove on the jaws, so the jaws are self-aligning. Now you can just pump the handles and this presses the fitting. What I like about this tool is unlike some manual press tools, it's hydraulic, so you don't need to use too much force. This is especially useful if you're working overhead or in tight spots. Hydraulics really are quite powerful as you can see. The hydraulic pump is manually powered, however, so you do need to pump quite a few times. However, this isn't that big of a deal and it's still easy to use. Never rely on handle pressure alone to determine when to stop pumping. Instead, you can have a look at the jaws, and when the two halves are touching, you know that the joint has been made successfully. After pressing the joint, I can then retract the jaws by opening this oil valve, and then with a quick squeeze, I'm able to remove the jaws from the fitting. I can tell that this press joint has been made correctly because there are those flat indentations on both sides of the o-ring groove and the o-ring groove itself has been compressed. There are no sharp edges and everything looks good so let's pressure test it. This hose bib is connected to the irrigation system before the pressure regulator so it's got full city water pressure at 100 psi. I'm using this hose thread to pipe thread adapter as well as some various galvanized fittings to connect my press fittings to this hose bib so I can check for leaks. After turning on the water and waiting for about 10 minutes, there are no leaks whatsoever so I would say that these joints are going to hold up well. Here are some more fittings I installed of this press tool. As you can see here, I cut that test piece in half and reused it to run water to the hose bib on the deck. Everything's holding pressure with no leaks, which is great. Overall, I'm genuinely impressed by how good of a valley this press tool is. Yes, it's manual and you have to pump it by hand, but yeah. the build quality is shockingly good for $150, and it works just like a professional grade press tool. Of course, while I can definitely recommend this tool to homeowners and property managers, or really anyone who needs to occasionally install press fittings, if you're a professional plumber, I would still recommend getting a rigid or Milwaukee tool.
Still, this is light years ahead of the previous Aibo Sad tool I bought in 2022. Not only was that previous tool really cheap feeling, but it also didn't work correctly and all the joints I made leaked. With this tool, I have no leaks, the head fits in tight spaces, and it works just like a professional tool, so I'm really happy with it. I'll have a link in the video description of where to buy it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.